Well, good morning and welcome YouTube people to See For All channel. This is Chris speaking, the creator of this channel with Jesus. And guys, you know, I never planned on showing you strange things in the sky, so I'm giving it my best. I didn't believe in none of this 26 months ago. I want to start you out with these two UFOs I put on the end of a video I think a lot of you haven't seen. Um, it was early in the morning. And uh, all I did was dehaze this, which is a little bit of removing some gamma off of it, just to clear up the fog. And at first I seen these two objects, I thought, oh, they're birds, you know. And as it started getting dark, I mean, you know, more lit up in the morning, um, you know, I was like, man, these pictures are two UFOs. What's up? Anyways, good morning, people. That's just to get you started thinking strange um, <clears throat> did you like my uh, got fire commercial I thought it was kind of snappy I got that in prayer yesterday morning so I did it and that's what I did yesterday I created that thing um, I've been working on this for a few days on some McKinn's footage and so I started this out just to say hi good morning the sun's coming up we get to have coffee together today it's Sunday morning and um, you know I put some some time and prayer in this and took a little time with my wife, had some fun, trying to rest a little bit. So Ken sends me this strange picture. He's like, look how dark it is, Chris. Look, it's like a flashlight. So I said, man, that's more than a flashlight. Let me put some light on this thing. We're up at the um, uh, Mazel 10 8mm Observatory in Mexico, June 20th. I held this footage back. I didn't want them to shut the cams down, people. See that black over there? That's caused by the filter and brightening the page up so much. It was actually really dark, like you saw it. And I want to show you like this little, it, it looks like a little city to me on a hill. Look at that, like on that spaceship looking thing. And uh, as I filter it, you know, it gets darker because I bring the gamma down a little bit. And then I'm learning how to um, bring the picture into like a cinematic level of quality. Um, so what I do on these, this was just um, a couple clips, and what I did was I filtered it, brought it out, and turned it into a slow-mo sequence uh, clip. Now, you would have never seen this if you just looked at that dark sky. You would have never seen what I'm going to show you. So keep watching. Good morning. It's Sunday. Got Jesus. And people say, you know, you're, you're so happy about this. I'm celebrating that Jesus is returning. Okay, now I go back down to the dark picture the original right here King gave me the original dark picture right here so I'm celebrating people that the return of Jesus is coming and you see that cloud on the left I know you're looking at that city on the top of that cloud looking thing but look at right underneath that cloud on the right um, on the front of that small cloud and the side of that small cloud right there it looks like waterfalls coming down well the one the first one I showed you there is like the um, antenna but the second one on the right, this thing's like a spaceship looking thing shooting out water in the front of it, right? I'm serious. Keep, like, look at it right there on the lower cloud. It's like a stream of water shooting out of that thing. And I got to say one thing. What are they shooting out of that thing, that cannon? What are they, what are they sprinkling onto this cloud system they're driving on? I mean, I would have never thought I would say stuff like this. 26 months ago but I didn't believe in UFOs I didn't believe in Planet X until God gave me a vision four times in 35 years about Wormwood but I didn't even know it was Wormwood I didn't research it until 26 months ago now look at the top of this cloud I've seen the pictures of cities on hills I mean that's like UFOs and cities what is going on right what's up on this Sunday morning so it got dark the sun went down and a little while later about 45 minutes later you get this beautiful blue starburst but see how grainy this sky is I'm gonna try to clear that up so it's not so ugly looking but that's what you get on a night camera then these UFOs pop I don't know if Ken even knows he got all this but these UFOs at first I thought that first UFO right there that red one was um, was the satellite dish and I, and I'm still thinking I want to believe it's a satellite dish but I don't know but the ones up in the left hand corner you know pop out but meanwhile on the right in the sky see how it just turned down the UFOs popped out on the left it's a pretty awesome capture Ken so you guys thumbs up for Ken this is like some incredible work he did 
um, you know me, I just edited it and put it together and put some crazy weird music on it and blab my mouth on Sunday morning. Praise you, Jesus. No, I really love the Lord, people. And uh, I've been doing a lot more praying. That's why I'm doing a lot less work on the Internet. Um, but, you know, this is like a rude awakening, this video. Um, Malawi, calm down. It's real. <laughs> I know you. And now you know it's real. So I got sick for about two days, people. Now check out these lights. You got the UFOs on the left side. You got these strange lights right in the middle. I mean, it's, it's late. It's like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. You got UFOs on the left. That wasn't the satellite dish. Okay, now we're going to go to Guadalajara. We're facing east. This is September 9th. This is the day. This is this morning. I was actually working, people. So I caught this sunrise. And I needed to catch this sunrise because it, it exploded. The sky exploded with plasma. And so I, I did it fast, slow, so you can see the plasma in real time. Um, you know, I'm not getting a lot of hits. So I feel like you guys are like a private audience. I don't care what YouTube's doing no more. They can do whatever they want. All I need is one guy to just blow this thing up into Europe somewhere or blow it up in Mexico or blow it up in Asia. I don't care about the numbers. I'm going after the one lost soul, you know? So Jesus loves you. I'm showing you the sky. Here we go. And I've drank a lot of coffee since 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and I laugh because I'm celebrating the return of the Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Been my friend for 35 years, people. Keep watching. Show you a couple light sources. So here we are, sunrise. And um, just amazing sunrise. I was showing my wife how beautiful. It's just kind of a purple, normal, apocalyptic sunrise, you know. It's like you want to just stretch and go, man, I love the smell of Nemesis in the morning, right? Napalm going off in the sky everywhere. Whew. Napalm, that's what I'm talking about. So now, folks, if I came on all here and just got all serious and scary sounding and like, oh, my God, we got to go against the government. See, one of the reasons I'm not getting shut down is because I'm not trying to have a revolution. You know, I'm just trying to show you the end time skies, the signs of Jesus return, watching and praying in the clouds. You know, we're looking up in the clouds. And if we see this stuff, why wouldn't we show our friends? to say something's up, get your heart right with Jesus. Of course I'm going to say that. Now, I think the planets are very interesting looking, and they scare my socks off, and I pray, so I'm not in fear. So there is no fear on my channel, and the reason I laugh too, I'm really just enjoying strength, peace. I come on here to show you something, to say, come on people, this ain't fake, it's real, it's really happening. I know, I don't want to see it either. My wife don't want to see it all either, but she does. I, I just show it to her. I say, honey, look. She goes, oh, okay, that's beautiful. But meanwhile, inside, she's saying, my heart's right with Jesus. Uh-huh, I got Jesus. So are you saying that? I know a lot of you are saying it, you know, and a lot of you bragging on it, too. So here we are. I want to prove to you we're facing east, okay? A lot of people call me a liar. That's okay. When they speak evil of me and persecute me for, for the Lord's name, Shoo, great is my reward in heaven. <laughs> I can't wait to see my bank account in heaven. Whoa, I'll buy you supper, Sarah, okay? Me and Donna take you out for T-bone and lobster. But we're going home, people, and I'm happy about it. And if I'm going to act all scary, try to make money on it, I'd make about 160 bucks on monetizing. Woo-hoo, that's enough to send everybody to hell, right? Just give my bowl of lentils away, sell my birthright for 160 bucks from YouTube. No, look at this. How can I not lie? How can I not lie about this, right? Yeah, I woke up this morning and said, I'm going to make a flickering sun to be a big liar on YouTube. No, people, this is real. That's in real time right there. The reason I sound mad is because I want you to wake up. Come on, I ain't sitting around here doing this for free for nothing. And I know a lot of you are waking up. He's secret in the closet still. See, it's not official that you know Jesus until you go testify to your mother, brother, friend. I got Jesus. I met Jesus. I don't care where you met him. I don't care if you met him in an alleyway with the fifth of JD. 
If you got Jesus, you'll know it. But anyways, I get excited because it's time for Jesus time. You know, I'm showing you the best possible capture, real time, filtered, and still saying, got Jesus. You know why? Because that is the most important thing right now you could think of all day long on Sunday. I hope you think about getting Jesus. Now, you could have all kinds of other gods working on you, working with you, but you got to ask yourself one question. Can your God heal you? Mine can. I got proof. Anyway, so I'm bragging on Jesus, showing you this bloody sky, the sun flickering. This is this morning, the 8th, not the 9th. My bad. <laughs> And I'm happy because Jesus is returning. I'm happy because you guys invited yourself to my video. And you guys love me and you guys pray. But look at that. How could I not show you that flicker? Oh, all the professional photographers are going to say, okay, well, that's the flickering sun because of the clouds and all this. No. I studied it. That happens occasionally. It don't happen like the sky is going to blow up, people. That's called a plasma burst from a stellar core. So you want to say, okay, where's your scientific proof, right? I'll give you my scientific proof because the next clip I'm going to start showing you after this is three or four stellar cores facing east June 20th. Now this is September 9th or 8th. And by the way, this is your 9-11 video people right here. It's happening. Pulse shift is happening. And so what's my scientific proof? When I show you the stellar cores in the evening sky from June 6th with the passing of the planets you'll realize that I'm facing east with the sun rising that something's not right. And uh, Chris ain't making this up. He's just religious. No, he's not just religious. I got a relationship. Religion, relationship, different thing. Religion, you go to church and don't know why you're going. Okay? Some, some people. Most people go to church and know why they're going to worship God, right? But anyways, not religion, relationship. And so I asked the Lord. He gives me footage. He has you guys give me footage. And... I capture footage like this sunrise I caught but watch what I'm gonna show you now this is what King caught okay now I want you to watch carefully right same area June 20 June 20th I put a little bit of filter got rid of all the clouds and the haze and the chemtrails and right above those red fiery looking clouds yep they're comet filled clouds there's reactions going on in those clouds. And I'm going to go back and forth from the original picture to the filter picture, okay? So keep watching. You're going to see the planet on top right there. See how it's going to develop. I just kind of cut some garbage out of that right there or I messed up or something. But uh, underneath, you see the stellar core is lighting up. This is facing east. And we are at... Let me see. Uh... Six, no, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Say around 6 o'clock. Now as the sun goes down, now, watch what happens to the planet on top. That's, Nib that's Nibiru in its clouds. It's round. You'll see a cloud kind of like stick out. There's a larger cloud where the arrow is sticking out. That's like a ring cloud that goes around it. And then over here is the lead object on the right. Or it could be a moon. Or it could be an asteroid. I'm not sure. Um, but down here you see there's a cluster of UFOs, not making that up at all. So on the right right there, now see right above that cluster of UFOs I was showing you, look straight up, there's something in that cloud right there, a TRB or something, I'm not sure. Then you also got the logo from the hotel, so don't get that confused. Now I'll back it up. Lights are still on in the streets. It's pretty early in the morning. There's two light sources right there. Those are stellar cores. Stellar cores are unlit stars, old ancient stars that have been drawn in by Planet X system to the magnetic field, and they're just kind of like being towed around. So, like, we're looking east at nighttime. Let me tell you, folks, it's pretty sobering if you don't think so. And there's more because people have been talking about these corkscrew clouds. So, in this, Guess what you get to see? A corkscrew cloud, which I'm thinking the people that are talking about corkscrew clouds are correct. Um, I don't think it's a UFO no more. I thought maybe it could have been a UFO, but I'm thinking now it's something ripping, like skipping off our atmosphere. It's pretty high up. Um, those are almost like space clouds, maybe? I don't know. 
But you look at it, now watch, I'm, I'm going to develop that into the scene here, and I'm going to zoom in on it. And you see the Stella Cores are just two different colors. They're going off. One's bright red, orange. One's more of a yellowish. The sun's already gone down, guys, in the, in the west where it's supposed to go down. So I'm showing you these two clouds right here because, you know, I thought, well, UFO, something. But no, I think it's more something ripping through the atmosphere. I had this conversation with Roger Paul, and he was telling me, no, Chris, it's like a moon or something. They're like moons or something ripping through and making that quirky screw-looking trail of smoke, you know, cloud. So watch. So, you know, all the, f you see how down on the below it looks normal, there's no red hint. I'm not adding color, nothing, people. You would see it on the buildings if I was adding orange or fiery red. You would see it on the buildings, so I'm just showing you that. I want you to believe what I'm showing you is real, you know, like, come on. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up like a drone, and I'm going to zoom in on some stuff. This corkscrew cloud is amazing. Uh, this is the best. I've got a few of them installed in, and you've seen them in videos, but this one's, look at this thing develop. It almost looks like an engine behind it, but it's not. I think it's correct. I think it's, it is a planet or a moon or a lead object just ripping through the, through the atmosphere. You know, why wouldn't you believe that when there's like these stellar cores and going off in the background? Now look at this top red round basketball looking. See how red it is? Well, of course, I got the gamma down. So it's a little bit redder. But you see the light source up there in the right hand corner. But you see how that, that red ball kind of takes shape right there? Now I don't know if that's a planet. But then watch the corkscrew cloud in front. So, you know, and you guys, I'm asking you questions because I want your two cents. Some of you guys have been watching this for 20 years. Have you seen this yet? I haven't. So I've been watching for 20 years, so your advice is very helpful. Um, see the corkscrew just come out? So on the right there, is that a, a moon or a stellar core? You can't make it out, but it, what's ripping through the atmosphere right there, right? So Roger Paul, thumbs up. You guys can check out Roger Paul's channel. This is a free shout out, Roger. <laughs> I don't charge him for shout outs. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so you guys got it Sunday morning, me blah, blah, blah all morning. I got to ask you one question. You got Jesus? I'm serious as, I'm not dead serious because I'm alive. So I'm alive serious. You got Jesus? You're going to need him. Remember this, when you see the firestorm come, got Jesus?